Welcome to 2412 Northwest Ivy Place, located in Maple Meadows. This home was built in 2018, is three beds, two baths, and the square footage is 1,408. It has a large concrete apron to fit even the longest vehicles, beautiful landscaping, fenced backyard, everything's in excellent condition. The location within Redmond, close to schools, the dry canyon access, Beautiful location, excellent neighborhood, single level layout. Absolutely ready to go. Standing in the foyer looking towards the great room, both guest bedrooms are up front directly as you come in and the guest bathroom with tub shower combination. This front guest bedroom has lots of natural light, looks out onto that common space, good privacy because you don't have a neighbor on that side with a common space. Spacious room, good closet, good lighting too, and directly across the hall you have your linens closet next to the guest bathroom with tub shower combination. thermostat straight ahead. The home does have central gas heat with AC. The second of the two guest bedrooms has a nice accent wall, good space for a queen size bed to fit comfortably. And the great room with fireplace, a nice view of the backyard, great natural lighting, breakfast bar, quartz countertops, stainless appliances, a large pantry. It has everything. The dining space is ample and still allows room to get through the slider to the backyard. You can see there's lots of space in the great room for furniture to comfortably entertain lots of people. Good space for the TV above the fireplace. The breakfast bar, cabinets and countertops all absolutely beautiful. Lots of space in here. You can see that that dishwasher is right where it should be. Single bay sink, one of the nicest changes recently. Now that we all have dishwashers and have for the last 50 years, it's sure nice to not have that second bay for no reason at all and have everything going to one drain with a disposal and able to fit your larger pots and pans for soaking and cleaning. The vault in this room makes the light and bright feeling all the better. Moving back to the primary bedroom, the door we just passed on the right is to the garage and on the left, the utility room. Show those again as we come back. There's vaulted ceilings in the primary, a ceiling fan, the door leads then through to the primary bath suite that has double closets, one on the left as you go by and another on the right, double vanity, a nice fiberglass shower with glass doors, and the all important enclosed toilet. One of my favorite features to make sure two people can enjoy the primary while one has the privacy of using the toilet.
really well organized closets. Lots of space within the closets too for all of your clothes and other items you might want to put in there. Fits a king size bed in the primary with ease, even with end tables. Large picture window and as you can see there's cellular blinds that are cordless. One of the nicest updates to blinds recently is getting rid of those cords so that your blinds can actually work. And then there's that door to the good size two car attached garage. And then the utility is directly adjacent to the primary. So you can take off your clothes in your bedroom, just put them right into the laundry room. This connects back into the hallway that leads to the great room and the two guest bedrooms and foyer. Now in the backyard, looking at the covered patio that has lights and a slider that leads directly into the great room. Everything's in beautiful condition. There's a sprinkler system, drip system, some raised flower beds, and that gate leads to the common space behind. So if you have some dogs that you'd like to take out and play fetch with, throw a ball for them, get on the trail system for Maple Meadows, also a good spot to go throw a baseball or a football, have a pickup game of flag football. Just an awesome backyard and location. Also directly adjacent to the home is some common space with park benches, nice mature trees. You have one less neighbor on the side and a neat space to come out and enjoy a little bit different landscaping if you like. Now in the garage, the 16 foot wide double garage. It's a little bit larger than average. There's your electrical panel, there's a workshop space, you have your dedicated plug for the freezer here on the left, gas water heater, door into the house.